Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of the Game Emporium, play the board game where, well, we turned I'm, up. I'm still not, uh, still getting used to that name. I was just like, hi everyone and welcome to Eat Crit. No, that's no. not us anymore. No. Welcome to the Game Emporium. No. If, if you want to know why we changed the name, we talked about it last week. And, you know, we can do that then. Hello Beyond Dead, welcome, welcome with the unicorns. How's it going? The unicorns. How's it going Beyond Dead? How things? We are... Yeah, once again, my name is Luke, that is Laura, Hi. and we are going to be playing one of my personal favourite games, Architects of the West Kingdom. I need to stop looking at the monitor, which is over there, so, you know, if I do that, it's just because I'm checking things, checking it on I'm the chat. Just, I'm just checking myself out. Fair. We like playing Architects of the West Kingdom, it's a really good game, it's great at two, uh, but we are adding in a bit of a competition today from our usual two-play games, by adding in Constantine, the, the bot. Bot. The AI. The AI. Uh, but also, what, what, what does AI stand for in board games? So artificial intelligence. I would say with all the change of AI around, a third bot player. But it's not a bot either. Ghost player. Sure, he's a ghost player. Ghost player. He's a ghost player. He's a better ghost player than the one in uh, Takedo. Let's put it that way. Anyway. We are also playing with the Age of Artisans expansion, which was the, I think it was the first expansion that was released for it. I'm fairly certain. Checks his maths. Well, that was released in, Checks his history. It was released in 2021, so it could have been, I don't remember. Well, when was this one released? Uh, it was 2018, I think. That's three years. But I don't remember. 2018. When... There you go. I do not remember if this one was released before or after the other expansion. Guess you with. should have checked your facts before you started. Probably. I'm ge- I think this was that. the first expansion that came out. But anyway, we are going to be playing with the Age of Arts expansion as our neighbor with a loud exhaust turns up. Um, yeah, we're going to be chucking this in to see what it does and sort of add things in. And we have also got, as we go down the table, we have some various bits and pieces. Aww. Thank you. There's some various bits and pieces that are contained within these little boxes, which are from Folded Space. This is the very nice uh, colour insert that there is for the West Kingdom trilogy, in particular for the Architects of the West Kingdom, in the Collector's Edition box that basically lets you put everything together because you can't fit everything in this tiny little box. That's a tiny size box. But there is a normal size box where you can put all the expansion stuff into. So I'm going to put those on the floor for now. Let's talk about the game and see what's happening. The game. The game. Gotta have some floaty demonstrative, demonstrative, demonstratory arms. Okay, hun. Um, I like making up words. You do. So we are playing Architects of West Kingdom. We are architects. Of the West Kingdom. Of the West Kingdom. Um, Wherever the West Kingdom is. It's uh, France. It's fictional place. Yeah, France. Fictional. Fictional. France in the 800s. But anyway. Bloody France. Um, so, we are playing as architects and we're trying to build out our kingdom. I am playing as Rudolf. The I'm playing as Frederick. And that's just because Laura likes red as a player colour. Yeah. I, like, I normally would play green, but there's a lot of green on this board. So, I yellow... So, you know, yellow's a lot easier yellow to see on out. the board. And then you have our bot AI ghost player, Constantine. Constantine, who we have called for our own purposes as Constantilly. Because He's got the same hair. Same hair as our dog. Same sword as well. He will be. He will be blue, which is nice and seeable. So, what we are going to be doing is we're going to be taking turns to place out our workers. It does say that it's red rising. I knew I forgot <gasps> to change something. That's fine, he's keeping up the tradition that there's always something wrong. There has to be Usually something... it's Nightbot. But... Usually it's Nightbot. Thank you, Beyond Dead. You were too too focused on... Everything else. Everything else. Making sure that the camera was straight. There we go. That's fix that Is problem. Is that better? Does that solve a problem? Does it's that solved. solve everything? Let's get rid of that extra exclamation point. There we go. Why not? Let's have two exclamation points. All the exclamation points. It's, it's that exciting. There you go. All that Hi, Thanks solved. for the... Thanks, Beyond Dead. Thanks. 
So we are architects, we are going to be, we are doing a worker placement game, effectively, but the twist on this one is we have 20 of these little worker dudes. 20. That are going to be going around and doing different things in the worker placement spots. They sort of split into several main categories, which are over on this side, they are gaining resources, over here it's just sort of get things that trade, you've got the black market, which will let you buy stuff, um, the tax stand, which lets you gain heck of money. But, you know, you're stealing it. Uh, down here in the workshop, which lets you recruit individuals to be part of your crew. There's a little bit of glare because of the room we're in. Sorry. Um, and then we can go up to the guild hall where we can build out buildings or put out things into the cathedral and to contribute to that. Uh, for the most part, these workplaces, we will be putting a work route and then doing the things it says. And as with these collection spots, they are pretty much you put a worker there, you get what it says. So in the quarry, you gain one stone per worker. And that's key, because you can put in multiple workers over multiple turns. The turns are nice and quick. So on my first turn, I can put one worker in, and I would get myself one stone. I can put a second worker in on my next turn and gain two stone. It is always related to the quantity of your own workers, not the total quantity that is there from multiple players. So with the quarry, the mines, the forest, and the silversmith, they are all related to your own quantity of workers. The town centre lets you capture other people's workers, so you can send one here. There's a little coin symbol, which is a bit hard to see on that distance, but it is a red coin. You pay one coin, uh, which is taxed, which goes into the tax stand over here, and it will let you capture some workers from a location. So let's say I had put out three workers out into the quarry, and Laura doesn't like that I'm getting so much stone, so she could put one of her workers out into the town centre and capture my Aha. workers. They would go onto her player board. Aha. Mine. And at the later time, she could then go up to the guardhouse here. Into prison! And put them into prison for one silver per worker. So I like money. This money is useful. For profit prison. That's how it works in this game. Um... The more workers you put in there, the more people that you can capture. However, in a three-player game, which this is essentially going to be because we have constant team, um, we can capture multiple colours of workers at the locations, including our own. So we can take our own back, so they don't go into our little uh, capture spot, they will just go back into our worker supply, which is always quite nice. Um, let's see, what else is there? Guardhouse, we talked about the guardhouse a little bit. There's Five, four different actions that you can do at the guardhouse. You can do one action per worker that you place there. The first is you can transport captured workers there for one silver piece. We've talked about that already. The other action, or another action, is you can go there and you can release your own workers. You might want to do that because when a black market reset happens, which we'll talk about in a little bit, whoever has the most workers in prison will lose out effectively will gain or lose some virtue and will lose a debt or gain a debt sorry which will be bad for points he's not a good thing um you can choose to release your or find a way to release your workers by paying five silver two of which are taxed or you can take a debt card and lose a virtue to just release your workers from the prison cell of another player. So it can either be from, I can take it from Laura or from Constantine and take all my workers back that they have captured. Because I want my workers back. Stop stealing them. No. It's very mean. They're mine. The last thing you can do is you can pay six coins, of which three of them are taxed, and you could flip over a debt card, which is very good because flipping over a debt goes from a minus two points, which shows on the bottom of the card here. To plus one virtue, which is nice because that brings us up this little virtue track on the left hand side here. Virtue going higher on the virtue gives you more points, which is always nice. But going low on the virtue, you get minus points. And you do get negative points. Bad. Can be bad, but it can be beneficial because the lower you go, the less tax you have to pay. So there's that balance to consider. Uh, reflect life, doesn't it? It does. The workshop down here, you can pay two sil uh, four silver, of which two is taxed, to recruit one of these townsfolk who will have special abilities that will help you build out buildings that have, that have different icons on them, effectively, and will score points. Each of them has got a singular icon, well, most of them, some of them have got three, 
if they are jack of all trades, and they have a special ability at the bottom, which is useful for ongoing in the game. We'll talk about these as they come up in game, I think, as we raise them for ourselves. We can have up to five of these. And the more workers we have at this location, the further along this row we are able to gather. So if we only have one worker here, what's up? No, I was looking around, I don't know, there's like a spider with a lot of spider eggs in that corner. Oh yes, we need to deal with that. Just get the vacuum. Nice if we can see if there's any spiders about to crawl and land on my face. <laughs> Always got to be vigilant. Right, Carry on. Um, so the more workers you have here, the further along this track you get. So if I only have one worker, I can only take from this row. If I wanted to take someone from this spot, and I only have one worker, I would have to pay a silver to place on top of this antagonist uh, to then gain an additional, to basically gain access to this one, or wait until I have an additional worker. The other option is we could draw more building cards. We can draw one plus one for every two workers we have at the location, and they just come into our hands. We can have a maximum of six buildings uh, in our hand, but we can play more as the game goes on. Let's see where else. Black Market. So the Black Market is a place for nefarious doings. You can, it's another way of gaining resources. You can spend a silver coin and a number of virtue, or multiple silver coins at different locations, and do the thing that it says. You can either, at the small market, you can get a marble and stone. That will change as the game goes on. And currently, at the big market, so you pay three coins, you can get two marble, one stone, and wood. We also have this spot here, uh, which is you can draw five of the building cards and then choose one or you can recruit a townsfolk for free regardless of the location just take it for free yeah. or you can gain a tool which will explain the tools in a moment tax down we've already said you gain two virtue and you well you lose two virtues sorry and you gain all the money that is at the tax stand which is potentially going to be quite a lot as the game goes on King Storehouse lets you swap in your resources for either Virtue or Marble, and Marble is important because Marble is worth points at the end of the game. It also gives you the options to build at higher levels on the Cathedral, so it's always worth doing more. The last thing is the Guild Hall, which lets you do a number of things. First of all, you can take one of your workers and you can permanently exile them to the Guild Hall to do one of two things. They can either build a building from your hand, paying the resources that you have, or you can uh, build a level at the cathedral, in which case you would discard a card from your hand, pay the cost that is listed here, and bump yourself up one space. The further up the cathedral you are, you gain points. You get more of them, the further you go. And then you flip over one of these cards, which will always give you a virtue, um, but it will also give you some other stuff, so we'll see how that goes as the game goes out. <coughs> Laura has a bit of gold, so apologies if... Sorry, I'm just going to go and suffer in the corner over here. Please don't suffer. Uh, I'm trying. Um, the other action we can do here is we can choose to sacrifice a second worker and place them on top of one we have already played to gain one of these artisan tools. This is part of the expansion. Fun stuff. So we can do one or two things with these artisan cards. We can either gain them for their tool benefits, which is the red banner at the bottom, and they will go underneath one of our townsfolk. Let's say I have this swindler, uh, and I put it down. I put the card down like this. I can buy this one. It doesn't show very well with the light, so I'll bring it up here. But we can put them down. There. Oh dear! Overhead lights. What a gift. We can do this. This worked quite well, but not for this particular scenario. We do it like this, and then every time I do the action here, I will also gain the bonus ability at the bottom. Or you could spend five money, of which two is taxed, to build it as an adornment, which means you get to get an instant bonus, which adornment. is the yellow part of the adorn. And you can tuck it underneath one of your buildings. Uh, it will give an instant bonus and then some bonus points at the end of the game, which is always nice. You can also uh, gain a tool at the black market for paying two silver and a virtue. Um, yeah, that's a kind of important thing. It's worth noting that the workers that go to the black market will stay there until the black market resets. And that will happen uh, a number of times. Either when the black market is completely full of all workers, in which case all workers in the black market will go to the prison, which is a bad thing. Bad. Prison's bad. Prison is not good. Um, 
or the Black Knight will reset when we build onto these two spots here in the row. Um, that will trigger our Black Market Reset, in which case all workers there will go to prison. We'll flip over the top card here and place it on the center of the double sided so we'll have a new small market and big market. Then we will have whoever has three or more workers in prison will lose a virtue, and whoever has the most will gain a deck. Um, that is pretty much it for how the game plays, apart from the return of Big Gary. No. What's his name? What did he decide? Did we decide? Virtuous on? Gary. Oh, Virtuous Gary, sorry. The Gary, Gary the Virtuous. Gary the Virtuous. The reason why Gary is called Gary the Virtuous is because when you place Gary the Virtuous out into one of these locations that costs you virtue, you don't have to pay the virtue. Gary will reduce that virtue for you, or he will, he will negate that, which is quite nice. Very virtuous. He also has the benefit of when you place him out for the first time, he counts as... Two workers. So if I was placing into the forest, he would count as two workers in place on this turn only. Any future turn that I place out to the forest, I would only count as having two workers there. <coughs> Let us know, by the way, Beyond Dead. Is it better if we lie the workers down flat or if we stand them up? It would be better flat. Lay flat? We can do that. We might want to zoom into the board, to be honest. Yeah, I can. We, they don't, we don't need to see player marks. Mm. If you want to know how many people we have then just I mean you can see in our boxes. How's that? Maybe a bit closer. You don't need all of my side in. Enhance. There we go. Enhance. That's better. That's better. Oh, Otherwise right. they can't really see. Let us know how that is, anyone who can check. Um yeah, that's pretty much it. We will play until we have filled in sixteen spots here. Uh, on the guild hall. That'll be a combination of 16. mine. Yes, yeah, sixteen. Why is it 16? Because we are. I know, because it's a three player game. Oh, yeah! Hmm. So we will play through uh, until we have all of those workers out. Uh, then we will trigger the final round, which, in which turn everyone gets a final turn, including the player that triggers the end game. I see, I have two turns to plan there. Potentially. Potentially. Um, all in all, we do also have the third player that is Constantili. Constantini. Uh, what we're going to do is on each of their turns, they will play third in the round order. So we're going to decide who is going to be first player in just a second. We will flip over one of these cards. One of these, <laughs> me, flip over one of these scheme cards. Uh, and the scheme cards will tell us something to do. So we'll put a worker out and then things will happen in a certain order. Constantine is a mean player. They play as a Third, a very mean third player. We can tell, look at him, he just looks got the lens sheriff knotting on vibe. He has got that little aspect for him. The other side, though, is um, Helena. Yeah, why, why not Helena? Uh, the reason why we're not playing with Helena is because Helena is a lot harder to play against. Constantine, it is. Yes. We can play with Helena. I mean, why, how, why is Helena harder? Because at the end of the game, when we are scoring, Constantine will score for his position on the virtue, tr on the cathedral track. His position on the virtue, lose two points for the yeah, so like, uh, us, yeah, like, like us, sort of. point for a marble, lose two, one point for every two workers oh, okay. in prison, yeah. but will also gain a point for every worker that is in the guild hall. Helena scores three, three points. points. No, thank you. <laughs> How is that? Oh, so you would just play with Helena for like a bit of a, a bit of a challenge. For a big challenge, yeah. Bye, Helena. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Constantine is. Constantine is. And we are playing with the standard uh, player powers. We're not playing with any of the special ones on the other side because no. it does throw things off a little bit in balance wise, apparently. So, yeah, nothing. That's what I suggested. I've only ever, I think I've only ever played with these ones anyway. Yeah. Your one blend, your little MP blends in a lot nicer than Yeah, just because of his elbow. <laughs> his goddamn elbow. Um, and that's it. So we are going to decide who our first player is until he wanders off. Probably going to have a drink. Probably. All right, let's roll die and see who goes first. Whee! Eleven! Eleven. Five. Whee! So Laura is the first player. So what's going to happen first, we're going to be drafting some... Well, you buildings. get an extra coin. I do get an extra coin. Thank you for that. 
We are going to be drafting some buildings in a second, but first of all, in reverse turn order, we get to choose one of these guys to come into our supply, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, which is nice because we get them for free. So, I will take... They don't get building cards, do they? They do not. They do not gain any uh, building cards. They do not gain any res physical resources other than marble. What's the point of you? Out. To kick our butts. God, the, 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 the ghost player always kicks our butts. It hot. Dog park, that kicks our butts. It does, yeah. That always gets like the top breeze, but we'll see how constant it is. I'll tell you what I haven't done. I haven't talked about the people who think you know, dog park and some of our YouTube shenanigans that you can go across and check. Oh, the people that make this happen. We've also got to talk about the people that help make this happen. Dainty. The wonderful purveyors of gaming adjacent gear and goods. TNT like the dynamite. <laughs> game tea. Turn her. Game tea, the providers of gaming adjacent gear and goods. They make some wonderful stuff like t shirts and candles. There are candles. Did they make this die. They did make that dice. Nice die with pretty roses in it. Yeah, I've got nice little roses in it. It just rolled dice. well for me, so. Take that as you will. Yeah, it's a good little dice. But yeah, you can go to gametea.co.uk forward slash eat. Survive because we haven't changed that code over, and you go to eat, survive, get yourself five percent off at checkout. So go see some of their stuff. In the meantime, I have to choose one of these workers. So I think I can either go for before we get our buildings. Yes, I know it's an odd one. Curses. So I can either go for this miner who gives me an extra clay when I go to the mines. Can it be any of them? It can be any of them. Mm, you don't have to pay anything. No, this is free. <coughs> the town's the antagonist <coughs> who looks has a fantastic look to her, bless her. She has a passive ability that whenever I go to the whenever someone goes to the town centre, you count as if you have an additional worker there. Which is useful. But I think I'm going to go with the Conspirator. Oh, God damn you. Because the Conspirator's ability is whenever you go to the town centre, you pay one fewer coins, which is good, because that means you don't have to pay tax to dob people in. So I'm going to take them. I thought you still had to pay tax. I think the Conspirator specifically negates a, negates a cost. But I think, if you, I think if you're paying multiples... Um... I think if you're paying more than that, then tax has to be paid first. Let's see, where is the... No, it's not that one. It is, uh, you decide your person, because that's not going to affect my... Do I get... Do I get to refill? No. God damn. Um... Um... Uh, oh, interesting. Spend one less silver, not tax. That is a good point. In which case, I still pay the tax, but I could do it twice. It effectively, it's the same as that person. So it's just... Less money. So you have to pay the tax. I would have to pay the tax, yes. yes. Still, it's still pretty good. Um, oh gosh. Who do I want? So whenever I put people in prison, I get a. You draw a card. card. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to draw uh, some cards because we are going to have a quick draft. Oh, I don't want to go ahead and give me a spare tune, no thank you. Let's go for... There you go. Let's mm. just go for... Oh, you fancy. Mm. I do wonder if I want a fair bit of money. <coughs> Excuse me. It's also worth noting at various points on the virtue track over there, you do get to a point where if you go too high, you cannot go to the black market. If you go too low, you cannot build in the cathedral because they don't trust you. <clears throat> yes. Because you're a terrible, terrible person. Um, do I want extra brick or do I want two copy pieces for one of wood? Yeah. Um, so would that be like an extra action that I have the opportunity to do if I went to the storehouse? Correct, yes. You have a, as an action, you could spend one money to get Would I have to put a person words. down to do that? Yes. Okay. Uh, no, you know what? I'm just going to go get an extra brick. Oh, do So these it's guys slide down and we get some new folks. Ooh. 
you're not going to be able to see our people, but... No, they're kind of tucked away a little bit, but that's okay. And it's okay. I think you'd rather see... The gameplay. What's going on in the game? All right, so, you... There is a card. So okay, you cards. don't need to see my map. There you go, there's my people. Uh, mine are a little bit off to the side, so I will... I'll move the deck and that to fly up a little bit. I'll put the deck up there. These are my people's... I'm mm -hmm. just stacking this way. Can I look at these? Yes, those are your cards. Please. Well, we are drafting these, so pick one. Yeah. And then we pass them along. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hmm, okay. I don't... You might have to just a smidgen. Stand something. Can I please have the rule book for the expansion, please? Ooh, the expansion. Oh, oh. Uh, What's up? No, it's fine. I like to. Ooh, cool. Um. This is our first time playing it, so we may be referring to the oh, rule it's book. Just, oh, it's just the mark. Okay. Doesn't mean anything. Oh, well, the little meeple mark. The little meeple mark. Yeah, no, that's just, that's just an indicator that that's oh, what it is. I thought it gave me something. Thanks. No, that's just. To, oh well. That's just to help people ex uh, split it back out later, should you want to. <coughs> Sorry. Just a bit like an airplane warner. So we're going to be drafting three of these cards. So two from our starting hands and <coughs> one from the opponent. And as we say, Constantine in the box does not gain any of the stuff apart from marble. <clears throat> because boo, Constantine. We. Oui. Thank you, Muxley. Now, do I go for... That's bad, isn't it? That means two death. Yes. What? <coughs> but look at that, the points. <coughs> Still, why the aqueduct always it always comes out? Always comes out. Let me take this one because I feel like going for this. It's sort of like it'd be fun to do. Why not? Let's go crazy. Mm. Yeah, sure. Let's go with you. And this guy goes to the bottom of the deck. Goodbye. Goodbye. Right, so, Laura, you are the first player. I am, I am, I am. I am, I am. What would you like to do? I'm trying not to cough myself to death. <coughs> Sorry. I apologise. Oh, man. Actually, you know what? I've made a horrible mistake. Music to my ears. I have made a, bit. a terrible, terrible mistake. Did you not check the icons of your... Yep. Okay. No, well, you can go high and you know, what? Hmm? You can go high and you guys. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, what's that? Just like so That's weird. Right. Okay. Mm. 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 Good. Helpful. Good. Good. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> the AP is setting oh. in early for Laura, and we are not even one turn in. No, I've just made a boo boo, and it's just literally turn one. You'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> just gonna be long to get all the way up to where I need to be. Ah, uh, right, you took that card. Okay. No, not even that. All my cards. <laughs> um, what do I start with? Shall we start with that? Let's start with that and try and get somewhere nice. Um... Uh... Okay, so let's just go to the forest and get some woods over here. What the hell? Why are you doing so much space? Alright, I am going to go to 
the mind. Can I have two clay, please? That's red. Yes. Two brick. Two yeah. brick. And now we have our little Constantine. Oh, yeah. So Constantine goes to the guardhouse, which is funny. What? So takes the, what will happen here is he will go to the guardhouse. I would like our work done to make it easy to see. Um, goes and takes as many actions as possible, one per work in the following order. So he has a priority in which the actions are taken. However, he can't do any of the actions because there's no, he, there's nothing beneficial. Of what it. a waste, Constantine! You played your card wrong. So we'll you just see that one. So we'll just say Constantine does nothing. Well, By the way, if a card flips over Constantine, he's got no workers left. Uh, then he takes all his workers back. Which is cool. Um, whereas if we run out of workers, we can only take one back for our turn. But we are including uh, Virtuous Gary in his Virtuous Gary. Anyway, it is your turn. He's a very easy bot to play with. Hopefully. I find. He's a meanie. Yeah. But he's easy to use. Mm -hmm. More wood. I shall go also to the mines and I will claim a gold. Because I have two words there. One gold. Isn't it weird that um, gold doesn't look like the shape on the. Does it? Yeah. It, like it, it does look a little bit. Ah, okay. Constantine's the. Ah. So Constantine is going to the town centre. So it pays one into the tax. If you put one, one coin into the tax, please. Just from here? Mm -hmm. From our supply. He captures all workers from a location with the most, excluding the tax stamp. If tied, follow this order. So we are tied uh, with two each. However, the first priority is the mine. So he captures my workers. Yay! Fabulous. Yeah. Constantine is a Richard. He's a Richard. Richard Cranium, if you know what I mean. It's your turn. So you do. <laughs> um, um, ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 Two coins. Two points. Mm -hmm. point. Two points. Yeah, correct. Point. Yeah. Um, all right. I am going to You're worth a tenth of a point. That's true. I'm going to go to the guild hall. I'm going to discard the aqueduct. Discard. When you're building a cathedral. Um... So I'm going to play the gold that I just gained, and go up here, and I gain. A virtue and two stone. And then that card disappears for the game. So let's flip over there. And In uh, now, Constantine. Let's see. Returns any coins from the tax stand to the main supply and receives the following. Ooh, damn it. Yeah. Ah. Uh, oh, yes, you've not played with Constantine before. Constantine's immune. So he loses two virtue. But he also gains a marble. Which is one point for him. It is. Oh, Constantine, you're winning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, technically, I'm winning. Anyway, it's your turn. I <sighs> what I'm doing. I'm being an absolute nut <laughs> Three money. Okay. Okay. Is this a gamble? It's a bit of a gamble. Okay, I'm going to go to the guild hall again, but stack on top so I can gain one of the buffs underneath. I'm going to take this card, this tool, to touch underneath my conspirator. So now, 
my converter, whenever I go to the town hall, it costs me one coin fewer, but I also gain a coin. So I'm always uh, going to be pay, um, paying off that tax, yeah. which is quite nice. Uh, and we've refilled the supplies of the cup. It is Constantine's turn. Constantine goes to the guild hall. Take care of that action. Move the player marker one space up the cathedral and discards the top reward card. Which would have been three coins. And gets a virtue. And gains a virtue. And then gains a marble. No, it takes the first possible Oh, yeah, it's the first possible in, in the following order. Yeah, so he goes up there and that's how yeah. Um And when he goes there, he also claims one of these, which is the sort of benefit. He claims one which has the most does points on it. Yes, he does. Since when? Since the rules. But when he, when he does what? When he goes to the guild hall, I believe. That's how that works. So the variants. Yeah, oh, no. Then. It won't say it on that because it doesn't have... That's from the base game. I... Uh, when crafting a dormant, your opponent plays the same with the same game. Whenever, any time they play the work in the guild hall, not only do they follow any steps on the scheme card, but they also craft an adornment. They only right. place one work, they never stack workers. So he gains this one, which is four points at the end of the game. So we're just going to keep his in a little stack just below. So I'll just keep it there so you guys can see it's coming to play. Burp, 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 burp. Ta-da! Mm. It is your turn. Mm. Oh, go to the stack. Go here and see if I can get some better buildings. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am going to the quarry to gain a stone. Constantine goes to the guardhouse. Well, three. So he's going to take a worker to the guardhouse and take as many actions as possible. He's going to arrest my people, which gets him a marble. Ah. And that is it. Ah. Sad for me, my people are in prison. Ah. And I have to go rescue them. Um. Let's go to the mines. I get three. three. One, two, three. Yeah. Right. I'm going back to the quarry to get two more stones. Boop, boop. Okay. Constantine goes to the guild hall again. Oh. Yeah, he also runs down the clock a little bit. So now we have filled in this space here. Which means we lose <coughs> the first two people of the of the uh, townsfolk, and they move down. There, this card, and we start the road. Hello, labourer. You are very attractive right now. Um, all right, so you bump up there, and we also lose this one. There. Right, your turn, dear. Mm. Yeah, he gets up the guild hall fast. Mm. Don't know if I'm enjoying it. <laughs> it's just a bit like ah. he doesn't do. He doesn't really do. He gets a lot. He doesn't have to spend like resources or anything. Mm -mm. So you're not wasting his time getting resources. Oh wait a minute! We should have put one of his workers on the tax stand. Is that earlier? Uh, yeah. We've got guard house, town centre, tax stand, guild hall, guard house, guild hall. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm. Round seven. Or brick yeah. or a gold. One, two, three, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three, one, two, three, yeah. 
I'm going to play Virtue of Gary in the quarry. Oh, no, boy. Because that will get me four stone. He counts as two people. Constantine goes to the king's storehouse and gains a virtue per worker he has there. So he just gains one. Step. Okay. Absolutely ridiculous hand. <laughs> that is honestly terrible. Um, just gonna go there and get stunned. Mm -hmm. I will go to the forest and get a wood. And just stick. Stick. <coughs> stick, stick, stick. Constantine goes to the black market. There he goes here on the right. And it loses a virtue. Loses a virtue, but gains two team. marble. Jeez, he's going to win on purely just marble. Yeah, he, he, needs a, he probably needs a five card. <laughs> a times five card. Uh, he probably will, yes. Probably gone. Okay. We'll get one of those when we need to. Alright, yeah, he your turn. Oh god, this is shocking. It's all strategy gone out the window this already. This is just... I should have paid attention to the workers available because I can't do... I can do one. <laughs> well, I can do it. It's a little bit better now, but it's not ideal for anything. Mm. Mm. Okay. Bit too I think I need more money. Money. Um, so I will go to the silversmith and I'll get two points. Yep. Mm. Constantine's turn. He goes to the black market. Uh, He'll go to this yeah. one. So he loses another virtue, but he gains a future schemes card. So he gains one of these. Interesting card, which is just he goes to the guild hall. Good lord! No, no, no. He doesn't. It doesn't go up. That's not, that. That when we shuffle uh, the deck, it becomes a new option. It doesn't gain him anything though, so it's kind of beneficial to us. He loses a virtue. He does. Yes. Okay. It's now you. <coughs> oh dear. Okay, let's actually build a building. Yay! Let's build my lumber camp. Sure, my lumber camp. A lumber camp? My lumber camp, which is four, one, two, three, four, and two stone, which gets me four wood instantaneously. Four wood? Yay! Four twigs! <laughs> Looks like you need a lot of wood mm. for whatever you are doing. I did my thing. <laughs> I will. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. So I I will. I'm putting on my trick. Hey, hey, hey. I can do this. I can do that. Uh, I am going to go to the workshop, pay four money, of which two is taxed, um, and pay 
thought you'd just find that down there. So I'm actually going to put another one down here to catch it to hire this swindler. So I lose a virtue. No, actually, you're not. No, I'm not going to take that guy. I'm going to pay an extra, another silver to get this enforcer, whose ability is whenever I put captured workers into the prison, I gain a marble. I feel like it's going to be a good idea later. So it gives me opportunities. Okay. Oh, hang on. Sorry, we didn't do Constantine's turn. Did ah. we? He goes to the King's Storehouse and gains two virtue. I'm going to build a building, an actual building this time, not just a pretend building like a cathedral. I am going to be building the academy. So it costs me two bricks and six stone. Two, three, four, five, six. This is from the expansion. And it gives me six points and will get me a point per tool upgrade that I have. So I, kind of want to, I feel like I want to focus on doing those later as the game plays on. So that is my turn. So Constantine is going to do a thing. It's the guardhouse again. Oh goodness me. Oh, that's okay. It doesn't really affect him. You just go to the guardhouse. That's it. Here's your turn. But he can't. He has none of those actions he can do because he has no. He hasn't captured any workers. He hasn't got any ones to release. Uh, he hasn't. He can't take them from our board, and he can't. He hasn't got a debt to pay off, so nothing right. happens. So uh, it is your turn. The only downside of putting out these tools is that I will run out of workers. Okay, uh, do I think I'm going to get the most at the chapel? Probably not, but I'm going to go to the workshop and I'm going to draw two more building cards because I feel like I could do with some more cards that I can potentially throw away to go to the cathedral. Constantine's turn, please. Town centre, capture all your workers from the location with the most. So we have a tie. We have one into the tax. Why do we have a tie? Well, because you, I have three at the quarry, you have three at the silversmith. Oh. Uh, so he goes down in priority order, so it would be the mines. Well, is all that, yeah, so he captures from the mines. No, it would be, if tied, you would only capture it from the... Oh, I see, it goes from... Oh, I see, so we go down this list, so it then goes to the quarry. Oh, look, at me. Darn it! Thank you. I guess I'm going to have to 
capture me. No. What? No. Wow. Wow. Mm. 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 I'll put Big get a Virtuous Gary out. Big Virtuous I Gary. Two goals. Uh, yes, you do. Gold. Yay. Yay, Virtuous Gary. Nicely played. Alright, I'm going to put a worker into the guild hall, and I'm going to discard the money lender because boo the money lender. Okay, the bottom of the deck to bump myself up this track, paying three stone and input. So now there, I will gain a virtue and a card. Interesting. What an interesting building you are. I look forward to seeing you in a discard pile. King's Storehouse. He gets a virtue per person there. There is another three virtue. They need to deal with this. They need to deal with him. He does not have the same restrictions of his level of virtue where he can go, by the way, so he can still go to the black market. Okay, then. All right, it is your turn. Um, question does that tr which order does that trigger in? I'm going to the town centre, so I gain a silver, which then pays into the tax, and I'm going to capture his workers. Workshop. Mm. Follow these steps. Any silver on the discarded apprentice. Oh, he's two to the tax. Yep. Pays two money to the tax. And then we get rid of take this no. guy. Any silver on the discarded apprentice should be returned to make five. Yeah, if possible, add one future scheme card per worker to a scheme's discard pit. Add uh, what? One future scheme card per yeah, worker. Yeah, so one of those cards goes into his discard pile because he only has one worker. This one? Mm-hmm. Oh, I love the guardhouse. I love the guardhouse. Okay, it is your turn. Sure. Let's go build another building. Okay, so we're going to lose these two workers as well. What are you building? I'm trying to build the factory. Get me two marble. Ooh, very nice. Exchange for two wood, two stone, three gold. Very nice. You would. Oh no, do I not have enough stone? Oh, god damn it. Ah. No, I did not. Curses. Well, I'll just put those workers back there. This is it. Would you like to go to the quarry instead? Mm. Get three stone. Yay. <laughs> well, we'll ignore this. We'll put these out in a second because I'm not going to. It's not going to fuck with anything, I don't think. Um, I have no stuff. Wait, is it any time I go to the mine I get a brick? Uh, Even if I trigger gold? Yes. Oh, well. Getting two more clay. Yeah, because I've triggered gold twice. Yes. Um... I don't want to do. I would like. Oh, that tax stand looks very enticing. Mm -hmm. It is very enticing, so I'm going to take this tax stand. Lose your virtue. And lose a virtue. I lose two virtues, in fact. Yeah. But, but I do gain money. Stealing from people. I am Robin Hood. I'm a modern day Robin Workshop. Hood. Workshop. He pays two to the tax. Oh. From the supply? Uh, yes. 
So actually, these slide along early. And we lose this guy. Uh, no, because we, we discarded him earlier for your future turn when you did this. I just can't, I can't oh. be bothered to reset it, so that's fine. Are you going to go to the building place now? Yeah. Oh, we had a future screen time as well. It's also a workshop. Add the slide along. Now I build it. Yes, let's go away. <coughs> we have a strong man, ooh, who has two, two icons. Pretty useful. I love this game. It is all good. It's a good game. Your turn. I know. I'm just enjoying the fact that I like this game. <laughs> That's a crime. No. Okay. Um. What do I want to do? I don't have any. Res I don't have any things. I don't need things, but I do also. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to the guard house. I'm going to arrest the three workers that I took from Constantine to gain three money. When I do so, my enforcer here also gives me a marble, which is nice. So now I have a burnt ton of money, and not all I can do with it. That's okay. Constantine's turn. Aha! He goes to the pack stand. He loses two virtue. Ugh. Gains a marble. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just give him a turn five on his marble. Can you see the order? Um, yeah. Blue. Let's go here. Whoops. Let's go. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna get her. You don't lose a virtue when you go to the pack stand. Interesting. Scheming. Um, freak out. Freak. My sheep. Freak out. Okay, I am going to place on top of one of my workers, and I will. Do I want to adorn or do I want to give a tool? I think I will adorn my academy with this card. So that will give me three more clay. Uh, but that cost me five money, of which two is ten. Nice, and I get three bricks. All right, Constantine goes to the town center. Oh boy, this, this, is this will be you, yes, he'll take it from your mind. Yep. <coughs> In one, two, the sex. Alrighty, it is your turn. How do the um, how do these nope. score? So the red one, red half. Yeah. So the red half, they will score based on how many you have. So if you have one, it will score you one point. If you have two, it will score you two. Okay. So up to five will score you nine points, which is pretty good. Okay, I'm going to put my worker mm -hmm. on here, and I'm going to get this one and put it on my mine guy. Ooh, okay. So you get... Oh, that, yeah, that thema thematically makes sense. Steve. Hi. We're learning Japanese, that's why she... I keep saying C, though, for some reason. I don't know why. 
You want to go to Spain. Obviously. 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 So, I would like to go to the town centre. I'm going to gain a coin. But because of my conspirator, I can pay that straight into the tax. And I can capture some workers. I am going to capture... Uh, now, a three-player game. Can you catch multiple locations? I don't think you can. I know you can in a two-player game. Oh, there you go. Up to two locations for two and three players. Uh, oh, God, okay. So I can capture from two locations, which is nice. So I'm going to capture his guys. I don't want you getting so much money. <laughs> Okay, that's my turn done. Now, and I do not have to pay that coin for the second capture because of my conspirator. Mm -hmm. He's getting a virtue. Sure. But only the one. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, I'm going to go up here. Now I get two. Right, three. Three. Uh, yes, you get three clay and, and one stone. Nice, that's a good mm. combo. That is a very good combo. I'm jealous. Combo, 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 combo. Mm. Okay, I am going to go back to the guild hall. I now stack and stack. I'm going to stack again. I've got six workers in there. That is a bad. Not to stack. I'm going to take this guy, this uh, tool, and tuck it under my enforcer. So his ability is when he's activated, he can, uh, when I put someone into the thing, I gain a marble, but I can also capture another worker, except for someone's virtual Gary. 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 Which is nice. So that's now going to score me two points, plus another two points for my turn, which is nice. Uh, all right. Penultimate card for Constantine. He's going to oh, town centre. And I think he's going to capture, let's see, where does he go? So he's going to go, it's either going to be yours at the quarry or yours at the workshop. Does he count towards it? Uh, because if that's the case, No, it, he's says, cap it says captures your workers. So he specifically Capture doesn't. all your workers from the location with the most. So let's see, the priority is the quarry. It doesn't mean yours is in his. No, it means yours is in you. Because like, remember, this is the solo automa, so normally it's only referring to yours. So, because his he gets all his back when he goes when he runs other workers anyway. Because he, mm. well, I've not got many people left. How do I get my people back from him? Uh, you can go here and you can pay five money, or you can take a debt and lose a virtue. Might be worth it. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's worth it. Yeah, let's get a debt. Sure. Um, that will lose the That's okay. You can get it back later. If it's the other day. I get my people back from here. Mm -hmm. All of them. You do. Yes. Yay. Very nice. Don't want to go into prison. They're too weak to be in prison. <laughs> Oh, it's I can capture up to two workers of a single colour from the location. From the location where they place their artisan. Oh, wait, what? Oh, no, that's a different thing. Okay, fine. So when I place a worker out with a strong man, I can take two workers of a different, of the same colour, up to two workers from that location, not the artisan. So I could go here. I can capture these two. Aha. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to put him into prison. So that gets me five monies. One, two, three, four, five, and a marble. And I could either free my own people or I could put yours in there. Mine? Yeah, because I have yours. Oh, because I because I've got two workers there, so I can do uh, multiple actions. I'm going to release my own workers because I am down to two. Or down to one, so I am running out of people. Yeah, not good. Not good. No. It is your turn. 
Good. No, it's not. It is. Oh, it is this thing, you're right. Go to the town centre. Who's he capturing this time? Capturing my friend's location with the noise. That's you, you again. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Great. Awesome. Oh, well. Yeah, it's fine. You've got a bit of work. Then we shuffle him. Uh, yes. And we'll start a new next round. Go on, Dad. I know, right? It's. He's very he mean to Laura. Worst. <laughs> Yeah, the boss on this is a really aggressive third player. The worst. He is kind of worst. I kind of, <coughs> I kind of love him, though. I, I do really love this boss. I think it's really clever. It's mean as hell, but it's mm. it's good. I am going to. If I pop my little pastel on there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get. What are you doing? Are you upgrading or are you adorning or are you uh, powering up one of your guys? That means discard, flip over a deck. Flip over a deck. That yes. means discard two. Yes. Remember, you need five money to do that, though. Huh? To, to gain the adornment, you need to pay five money. Um, the bottom half you can do for free. Um, Did you want to get the five? Did you want to buy the adornment? No. I'm going to get this guy. Okay. And I'm just going to do the red and I'm going to put him on there. Okay. Ooh. So whenever you go to the king's store. Hold on. No. No. I don't want to. No, I don't want to do that. I want to put it on that way. Okay. You get out of money every time you go to the black market. Tax stamp. Oh, the tax stamp. <laughs> oh, very nice. Okay, even more, more money. money. Even more money. More money, more money. More money. Okay, so, it's me. Hi. Hi. I'm the problem, it's me. me. Um, I'm, I'm going to the guild hall, I'm going to discard my silver market and pay a marble, I'm going to pay a victory point effectively, to bump myself up the track here and gain two virtue. Mm. That's the satisfying. <laughs> What does, what does this... Black market reset. So everyone that's in here will go into prison and then this stuff happens. But no, no, no. no but Constantine is. Uh, his turn, he goes to the tax stand. Oh, you sod. You swine. Oh, damn it. He, lo he gains a marble and loses two virtue. So we now have six marble. Oh, that... Skips the spot for me then. That does ruin your plan somewhat. A little bit, yeah. Uh, uh, um, okay. I need to get stuff. I also need to get my workers back because they are spread out. Rabbit. Okay, let's just go into. Bo -bo. Okay, so. <laughs> what are you. <laughs> I'm building my arc. Ooh. I think that's arch. Arc? Oh, it's actually, oh, it does say arc. Oh, it's the arc. Uh, it's I the, can read. To be fair, it's the it's like the arc de triomphe. So it's the French. Arc. arc. <laughs> You're in France. France, Luke. Remember. Yeah. The fictional place of the France. The fictional place of France. So that costs you... One, two... That's a lot of stuff. Three, like, four, geez, five, that's a lot of points. Six, one, two, six, one word. Yes, oh, I see two, what you're two. doing. Yes, one gold. Yes, and two marble. For the wing. Can you see what I'm doing? Because I can't. I, I know what you're trying to do. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, don't do it. Don't like this. I'm not going to. Good, like, I respect it. But you do gain two decks. I do. But it is worth 16 points. So that is... Hell of money. I mean, at the moment, I'm losing six points. So but it's worth 16. So I that need is... to... I mean... Respect. I mean, debt. respect. Respect to you for doing that. Nice. Next, next. I'm proud of you. 
<laughs> it's the small thing. It's the small thing. Um, okay, I am going to go to the town centre. I'm going to pay one of my stupid amounts of money. Uh, and I'm going to pay an extra one back for supply. I'm going to capture three lots of workers. I'm going to capture my own that are here at the town centre. So they come back to me. I'm going to capture his two that are in the town centre and my two that are down in the workshop. That gives me more workers back to be able to do things. Do I need stuff and things? And stuff and things and stuff and things and stuff and things. It is your turn. No, it isn't. Constantine. Constantine is going to the town centre. Ha ha, suck it. Oh, he's going with his big, big... Gary. With his big virtuous Gary. Captures all the workers from the location with the most, which I think... He does get one for tax, which I think, actually, ironically, is my two here. Uh, now, he has no workers remaining, so he's going to release... Capture all of the... Get release all, the house! <laughs> to release the house. He will get back all of his workers at the uh, on his... Um, instead of flipping a card over, I Thank believe it's... God, we need a breather. Yeah, I will have a check back because I just want to make sure that that's how that works. If they have no workers at the start of their turn, return all workers, excluding Guild Hall and Black Market, including captured and imprisoned, then shuffle all the discards. Actually. Then shuffle all discards back into the scheme's draw pile. Yeah, so these cards that we've already used will get shuffled back in. Mm -hmm. um, um, okay, so if you've got any uh, captures, it's worth selling them, which I think I will. No, I don't. Well, I do. No, <laughs> I might as well get two. I mean, is it worth getting for two money? Probably not. Um. Oh, Yeah, well, let's go here. I'm going to swap my two brick mm -hmm. for a virtue. Nice. Yes, why not? And then I will get a coin. You do. Take it back because of my abbot. Go of your abbot. Is, he, is it worth doing that? No, it is not. So I might as well go and get stuff. Stuff and things, stuff and things. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think for getting in, in lieu of getting stuff, though, I'm going to get people. I'm going to spend two money plus two to the tax, and I'm going to put one on the labourer here to claim this stone cutter, who must be the son of a stone cutter, because you cannot be a stone cutter unless you are the son of a stone cutter, or you say the life of a stone cutter. That is a Simpsons reference. Whoa, that's a that's a yeah. deep cut. That is a deep cut. So uh, okay. it will be Constantine's turn, but he just gets back all of his workers that he has placed out, including the ones which are in just prison. Not in the guild hall and not in the black market. Wait, you picked them up from the black market. I did, and I realised we forgot to do the rest of the things that were here. So actually, he should have lost a virtue and gained a debt because he had the most workers. The black market is dead. Is no, because they were, when you placed here, the black market reset, you uh, forgot to do it at that okay. point. So he has yeah. now got a debt, and that has happened. So that is fine. And he lost the virtue because of it. So, it is your turn. Oh, well, please go back into his discard. So that is okay, his entire turn. Go here, I get a bonus one, I only lose one virtue. Do. And I get these, yay! Yay, money! Okay. How much money do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to the quarry, I'm going to get myself two stone thanks to my stone cutter. Huzzah! Huzzah! Okay, that is me done. Whee! Black market. So he's going to... Oh, this should have flipped over. Oh, not mm -hmm. that it matters. So he goes... Mm -hmm. So... He gains... Loses a virtue, but gains two marble. This man is so up and down with virtue chart, you don't know whether he's coming or going. But, but... Yep. Honestly, he's already got... Six, seven, eight, nine. No, 
So eight. He's got eight, eight. Eight points. Plus the four from this. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm so sorry, Miss. 26 points over there. Minus well, at least I earned them. So did he. He didn't. No, he didn't. He's done nothing. <laughs> done nothing. Hasn't got any. Hasn't gone out hunting for those resources, chopping down that wooden dig in those mines. He's done nothing. He just comes in, just takes the marble and just and dobs us in. in. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you though. I'll tell you what, Constantine. Snitch and get stitches. Snitch. That's stitches. what we're going to be telling you. Coming for you. Uh, right. Anyway, <laughs> I got dark. Right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do the thing. Do the thing. Julie, do the thing. Do the rock. And then I'm gonna pay. What is it? Five. One, five. Two to the tax. Five. You get this little friend. Yeah, thanks. You get a nice little bonus point. And we'll just. I mean, the doesn't matter which one you slot into. Let's put it on the lumber account. Sure. You get Actually, that. no. Let's let's put it on here because it negates the two debt from under there. Yes. So I can get rid of my two debts. Yes, you get to scrap two debts, which is very yes. very nice. Oh, God, not even worth the virtuous. So I've got one left. Mm -hmm. One left. One left. That I can. Hmm. I'm gonna pay six. Hmm. Okay, I am going to rage. No. Um. I'm going to rage. I'm going to go to the quarry. I'm going to get myself three stone. Mm. I like this setup that we have for playing games when we're streaming them. It's good, isn't it? Mm. Nice change of pace from doing it digitally. Yeah, oh yeah. As much as I like digital, nothing beats me physically. It's fun to play through some of our physical games. Yeah, yeah. Alright, uh, King Storehouse, he will get himself a virtue. Oh, stop it. Stop it, Ron. Stop it, Ron. Right, your turn. Um. <laughs> One more. Oh, stop it, Ron. <laughs> no, we've got, a, we've got a step in the loop. <laughs> um. Stop it, Rod. No. Stop uh, it, Rod. Oh, God. Ooh. So if I want to capture some workers, can I get both of mine back from you? Mm-hmm. And him? Wait. No, if you go here, you can capture... You get the workers back from... You release the workers back. So I have to pay? Yes. Ugh. Either the debt or you pay five money. What's the debt? Oh, I get a debt. You take a deck and lose a virtue. Oh. Ow. And I get these back. You would get to release them from one player's board. You've got to get you ones from there all from here. If I go here? You can capture your own workers for one tax. From me? No. It's oh. from out here. From one. I thought you said I could do it from two. If you have multiple workers. On that box? Yes. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't... Ugh. I don't have the money. I've got Big Gary. I've got Virtuous Gary, though. Yeah, you can play Virtuous Gary, though, and he could do... He would count as two. It only counts as one. So I pay two coins to get back. Three workers. Oh, yeah. Um, hmm. what do I think? Decisions must be made. We are, we're halfway through the game, technically. Mm. I like this artisan's mm. stuff that that's added. That's added an extra mm. layer of complexity. 
However, I am terrified that we're going to speed through to the end of the <laughs> end of the game very quickly. And it is not going to be a high scoring game here, folks. So five coins to get to three workers from one player board. Ugh. Or two coins to get three players. I really want you to get three players. Okay, sure. Right. Virtuous Gary. Yay. We're going in. So that's two coins, one to attacks, one to there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get so two spots. So you can capture your workers and mine if you wanted to. Okay. Two and then Technically you could capture Virtuous Gary back. Because it's two actions. That's good. That's good. Alright, I am going to go to the prison. I'm just going to set, put your guys in prison because I feel like you're going to try and take them back soon. Huh. And three money is kind of useful. Alright, Constantine. Time to see what scheme he's up to. Tax band. Oh, Ooh, he takes some tax. But loses to virtue. And gains a marble. <laughs> Minus one point for gains point. Mm, could be, could be good for him. Could be terrible. Uh, right, it is your turn, dear. Uh, dear. Um, I don't really know what my game plan is. <laughs> I don't really know anymore. Help! Help me! Help! Me. Help. Oh wait, we should have given oh. him. Sorry, I've just realised he's placed a second worker out into the cathedral. We should have given him another one of these cards. Should we just take one randomly off the top of the deck? Because I do not remember what was out at the time that he... What do, which one does it usually say? The, oh, the most highest points? The highest points, but those weren't there when he got that, I don't think. But then we should take... We didn't pay attention, so it's got to be a okay. higher point. Yeah, all right. Uh, so, if there's a tie, I think it just... Does it matter? We shuffle them and we do it randomly. Okay. This one. Okay. There you go. Oh what? He immediately does that now. No, he doesn't he doesn't oh, get any of these benefits, he just gets them for points. <clears throat> okay. Um yeah, sure. Whoa, that she can play a building immediately. Is it? Must be. Must be. That's what it looks like. Or you activate a building. It might be you activate an instant building again. You reactivate the immediate reward of the attached building. <sighs> so you could attach it to either of your two buildings that are, have got instant abilities. You could not do it to an end game scoring building. Two marble. Uh, two <clears throat> anyway, it is your turn. Oh, I think. Yes. I yes, because of tax down. He just did the tax down thing. Um, crikey! Yes. Oh, yeah. These are things. I need to free myself. I'm going to go up here. Do I want to take the virtue on the debt or do I want to pay five money? Five money is a lot of money. I will take the debt and the virtue to free my people. Come back to me. Come back, virtuous Gary. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Constantine goes to the town centre. Oh. Uh, which is going to be me. So we get one for the tax. And he is going to capture from, um, is it going to be the quarry or the guardhouse? Quarry. The quarry. Boo and hiss. I just freed my people. Curse mm. you, Constantine. If I want to get those people out. You just go here. Oh, I don't have to pay anything. Nope. It, this action just goes, okay. Oh, Hi, friends. Okay. Oh, I do get a marble, though, because I did place uh, a worker back there, and I can capture two workers. I'm going to take these two back. Um. 
just scrounge your head to get like points. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go here. I'm gonna get a gold and I get a clay and a stone. Clay and a stone. That's pretty good. Awesome. Uh, I am going to sacrifice a worker for the greater good, the greater good, um, and claim this tool, which I am going to tuck underneath my quarryman. So he will now gain, whenever I go to stone, he will get me clay as well, which is handy. Ooh, sick point. Ooh. Anyway, what's Constantine doing with his life? Don't care. Going to the guard house. Well, curses. Uh, he is going to drop off prisoners. He puts everyone in there. I think he puts everyone in, yeah. yeah. For, for him, he puts in everyone. Normally, it's only oh, one colour, but. God. I mean, it makes it much more valuable for you to go there now. Mm. Uh, and he gains a marble, which means he now has 10 marble. Oh, God, Constantine. Constantine's a mean little. Does he. What was that? Uh, oh, we get... Wait. He, he, didn't, he, he didn't have any workers to free. So oh, he okay. then arrests. He, he then puts and them then there. And then can he do that? Uh, no, because he only has one. He would oh, do he that next, but he doesn't yeah. have any... He only has one worker there. He's only in one action. Mm -hmm. Can we find it? So. I'm going to go and get my guys. Hey, friend. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you could have asked. That's okay. I'm going to... Thank you. Wee. Okay, wee. A lot of workers. Useful. Oh wait, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have placed it there. No no, it's fine. This is a new expansion. I should have done that instead, because I did a tool rather than a building. Okay. That's fine. It's an easy mistake to make. Easy mistake. Especially so stupid. Alright, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to the quarry, I'm gonna get myself two stone and a clay. Okay. He's one of my tools. He mm -hmm. get stone cutter gets me an extra stone and then I get an extra clay. Right, mm. hey, what's that? No. Constantine. Your turn, oh, Constantine. Guard, guard again. No, he doesn't he doesn't do anything. Yeah. So there's nothing there for him to lose out no. so. Oh well. What a waste. Yeah. <laughs> Constantine, you suck. Uh, suck, Constantine. Uh, Can I get some uh, hate Constantines in chat, please? <laughs> <laughs> right, let's okay, let's just sit and just eat. Build on the cathedral. Ooh. Why not? Right, pay my gold. Get rid of this because over it. Fair. You're getting two virtue. Yay! Two virtue is good. You saw. It's points, um, probably. No, it's not. Well, it will not be later. I am. It will be later. If you if you get more of it, <laughs> it's worth points. Oh, that is worth. What you get on the purple is worth points. Uh, no, if, just if it has points. Oh. Okay. Don't have enough. Gosh darn it. Shut oh, Christ. <laughs> go away. <laughs> God. All right, I'm going to go back to the quarry. I'm going to get another three stone and a clay. Hmm. They me stone in. Ba -ba -ba -ba. It is your turn, Constantine. <laughs> Goes to the, the bleak market. Black market. I want you to skin the card to skin the card fire. Guild Hall. Goes to the Guild Hall. Mm -hmm. So that's just speeding the game up again. Mm. Next, what's that? Ugh. Right. What would I like to do? Rage quit. Oh, please don't. No. It's very messy. Mm. This game has got a lot of it. Good. Good. Um, oh, I need to go back. Yeah, right. Mm. Sorry, oh, Flu. Trying to avoid the dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Poor Papa. Mm. Um. Not, not a lot. Um, <laughs> I'm 
I've got four from these, plus nine, plus two, but I'm losing two, so those cancel each other out. <coughs> and a bonus three. So, I'm not doing great. Although I am getting seven from the cathedral. I've been better. I've been worse. You're actually... Okay, I have a three turn plan, four turn plan. Mm -hmm. I have some number of turns planned. I think some... I'm just going to need to get a building because. Yeah, that gives you a rough idea. Do you want to put down your virtuous Gary to get two buildings? Give you an option? Uh, something not a bad idea. Virtuous Gary. Um, I get to keep them both right. Uh huh. Okay. First step. Go to the guild hall. Discard these two. This coin goes away. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And discard the clay pit. And eight stone. Ba -ba. To go. Boop. Oh we get the last card here. <coughs> which is a virtue. Okay. Yeah. And three money. Problem is, money isn't really worth much. So now, whenever anyone goes to the cathedral, they will just get a single virtue because there are no cards left there. But it is your Not turn. Yeah, you. that's why it's costing me. I said it. Every time. I know. Guild hall. So, this is where he goes in here. <laughs> He goes to the guild hall, he will move his marker up one and discard the card here, which there isn't. He gains a marble. <coughs> gains a virtue. Gains a virtue. And he will gain oh, a six pointer. Oh dear. That's bad. But then he loses six but two virtues. No, oh, he, no doesn't. he doesn't. He doesn't that. gain those. Well. Poop. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, the problem. Alright, here's your turn. You're not feeling me. Good. What to do? I'll tell you how to do your job. No, yeah. but I have so many things. I'll tell you. But why? Because I can. Okay, fair. Alright, what are you doing? What am I doing? <laughs> Do I play the short game or the long game? Oh. Considering we don't actually have that much time left. Maybe not. Mm, what's the time? Uh, it's half past nine. Oh, okay. Cool. An hour and a half. Oh, Not a frame has dropped. <laughs> Couldn't do it anything. No, it's just all, it's just two <coughs> numbers. <coughs> okay, down there, floofers. Panty floof. Okay, let me do that. If I can do this. My life will have meaning. Right. One, four, five, play. Nice. Three, and the stone. Four, <coughs> oh, God, I'm coughing and sneezing everywhere. Bless you. My body is really trying to get this bug out. Yes. Disgusting. It's disgusting. All right, moving to the quarry. I am getting myself another clay and three, four stones. Two, three, and. Oh, bless you. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, Constantine is going to do a guild hall action. Oh boy. Oh, this is bad for me. Because he will place there, it will trigger a black market um. reset. He gains a virtue and a marble and bumps up here. That's bad. Oh, he's going to beat you. Uh, no, those go into prison. Ah, yeah. They go there. However, we both have two people in prison, which means we both gain a debt. Oh, dear. Which is real bad for me. Get rid of the debt. Mind you, I have got a lot of money, so I could get rid of debt. That might be something I do towards the end of the game. But anyway, it's your turn. 
please. Oh, and we have a new black market card. Nice. You just bumped your head, Wiggle. Cheers. Oh dear. He's a bit warm. He is a bit warm. Mm. Okay, come here. Oh, limpy wiggle. Mm -hmm. He's tired. He's tired. Yeah. Mm. Oh dear girl. I don't know if anyone can hear the pants of a floof. Mm. Thank you. You got water? I have to go check she's going for water. Okay, I'm going to go to the black market. Spend three coins, I lose a virtue. But I get a stick. A stick. I get a stone. I get a gold. And I get a marble. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Got a stone and a marble. A stick of stone and a gold and a marble. That's efficient. Yeah. You lost your virtue and your three money? Yep. Oh, yeah. No money left. Oh, no. You not know what I was aiming for, but hey, hey. Oh, bye bye, Goof. She had some water left, but I just added some. I am going for two wood. Oh, and he's going for the town centre. Ew. Well, I was going to catch him. Ooh. You're two of the... You're three of the mines. Ah. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, well. Tax. Ah, oh, your turn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the King's Storehouse. Mm -hmm. Um, I get a coin. Yay. Oh, uh, Bob's your uncle, 007. Yeah. First time chatter. Hello. Who's love winning? that name. Uh, Laura does love that name. So do I, actually. Bob's, Bob's her uncle. Um, I think, or well, Bob's your uncle, I guess. I think at the moment Laura's winning. Mm. But it's a close run thing between me and uh, between Laura and Constantine, the bot player, who is yeah, he's like getting a lot of points. Very Three close. Three sticks for a marble. Okay. And then I do have. You do so a I get one. a coin for him, but if I activate him, do I also get another coin? Yeah, you'll get a coin for each action you take. It's pretty good. Well, we've got a lot of yeah, Are you a, a, okay. are you a fan of this game? Have you played it before? I'll get another coin. And I've gone to the virtue. Yay! Woo! Woohoo! <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Sorry, I'm a bit, bit bleh. bit oh bleh today. Boy, do I... Mm. I think this is worth the gamble. Gamble! I'm going to build my last building. Mm. And so two clay, four stone. Uh, Bob's your uncle, 007, says, yeah, I've got it, but not played in a while. It's on the shelf of shame, I guess. Yeah, it's no, if you played it, it's not on the shelf of shame. Just yeah, shelf of shame is only for those that you've never even looked at or are still in the shrink. Yeah, it's a pretty good, I mean, it's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one to get. So this is the chapel. Let's pop this down here. Uh, if I have the most of the cathedral, I will gain two virtue. Ooh, does that count for tithes? Tithes are friendly. Oh, okay. Boop. So I now can no longer go to the black market, which is pretty good. And we are also playing with the a the uh, Age of Artisans expansion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> As opposed to the works of wonder, which mm. we are yet to try with. Or the Tome Saga, which I quite like the Tome Saga. 
Good fun. Constantine. Constantine does the terrible tax thing. Stands. Okay. There goes the tax stand. It's Jesus. not the worst thing. Two, one, two. But games. But games are marble. Yes. That's right. <laughs> All good. All right, your turn. Right. Going to. Do I have? Do we have any other games in the series? What's your favourite? Uh... We, I do have all of them in the West Kingdom series. I have uh, Paladins and Viscounts, and I also have Wayfarers of the South Tigris, uh, Raiders of the North Sea, and uh, Explorers of the North Sea, Hadrian's Wall, and what's the other game I have from Garth Hall at the moment? The Wayfarers? I, th I think it's oh, Wayf the Wayfarers. Wayfarers of the South Tigris. Don't know, wasn't paying um, Oh, Raiders of Scythia is the other one that I have from them. Um, I think it's a it's a very close run thing between this one and Paladins of the West King, depending on my mood on the day. I like this for how it plays. I think I prefer this as a solo experience. If I'm playing solo, this is my one of my favourite solos to play uh, because of this mean bot Constantine. Mean, he is mean. Um, but I I think Paladins is, is a nice heavier experience, which I quite enjoy sometimes. Yeah, that is super heavy. But it's good fun. Mm. It's a heavy game, but you really like it. I prefer this. I prefer this and the Raiders. Raiders of the North Sea. Raiders yeah. of the North Sea. We need to, we need to we play, play that, that again. a bit more. Anyway, I've built the university. Ooh. Which gets me 11 points, gets me a virtue immediately. And it gets me two points if I have no debts. Which, at the moment, I'm not quite getting. Well, yeah, but Raiders, Raiders is a very, very good game. I want to try Raiders of Scythia, which is... Raiders of the North Sea plus a bit extra, like version 1.5, which I think is pretty good. So I need to give that a go at some point. Picked it up at UKG as a, um, a bring and buy. Gary Yeah, my Gary is going out. So I'm going to mm. put him here. So I gain a money for my conspirator, which will go straight into tax. And I will capture my guys from the quarry and my guys from the forest. Mm, uh, tomorrow evening, I am me meeting online with some friends to play the next one in the South Tigris series, the uh, Scholars of the South Tigris, playing on Table Top Simulator. Mm. And that is that looks really cool. It's a dice worker placement game where you're tr converting scrolls into different languages and the colour of the dice makes a mm. difference. It's oh, it looks crunchy and quite fun. I'm looking forward crunchy. to giving that a go. Mm. Supposedly the heaviest game so far. But it looks good. Um, all right, Constantine. Constantine. Mm -mm -mm -mm. King Storehouse, a virtue per person, so he gets two. Two. One, two. Boop, boop. All right. Oops, dear. Oh, gosh. I've got two players left. I don't have money to buy back from here. You capture and work everything on home. Fun town, fun town. Mm hmm. Mm. I've only got one. So if I got swap one for two. But I mean, we're going to hit the last. We're going to hit the last one soon. Point. Soon. Soon. I, I, I need four. Yeah, one, two, three, four turns before I can trigger the end game. Crikey. But I don't want to do it just yet because I've still got these debts I want to get rid of. Yeah, same. There's two points. Ten points. Ten coins. Is that there. zero as in with that class as a debt? Uh, I think zero as in like. I think it's no debt. I think none it's none at all. Uh, no, I think if it's a, if it's a, no unpaid debt. So it's flipped over, it's not a debt anymore, it's, okay. a, it's a paid debt. Just for I will double check, please. Double! I'm fairly certain Yeah, because there's, no, there's no active way to... The only active way to discard a debt is to get to the top of the virtue track, yes. which I think quite asking. It's asking quite a chunk. I believe it is just specifically um, mm. unpaid debt. It's the university. It is no unpaid debt. Okay, that's fine. Oh. Pay, pay that debt. You're good. I need money. I need six. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I need people. So I get three from that. Which 
the 19th from Kelsey. <clears throat> oh, this might be that might be worth it. Yeah, okay, that's a bit of a shortcut. That kind of helps. Mm. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, or jokey. Yeah, I think about those mm. to get rid of that. I've captured nobody this time. No one. No, no you've been you've been kind. Right. One in the hair. For now. <laughs> one in the pack. Who are you capturing? He's catching me. It so I should have been me. one person. Can I get yourself from the guardhouse or the king's store? Or Gary. Or Big Gary. No, Both the only two men. Um. Mm -hmm. Cool. Good call. I am going to stack on top of myself and pay five coins, of which two are taxed, to get this dormant, which gets me a gold instantly, but will also give me three points at the end of the game, which I feel like I need some points. Godhouse! Aww. Free count. He puts me in the prison. That's good, because you can get those guys back. Yay! They're all free, but he does get a marble. Boo! Boo. Okay, gonna need another time to stack. Ah, but then, who needs, does he pay? There's no one. Oh, uh, no, he's, oh yeah, that's just a point. He gets, prison, he gets those two back. He two for the tax. Uh, no, he doesn't, because he does sorry. He, it's this one. So he gets his two out, and then he puts yours in. Oh. That's what fair. does that do then? That's freeing them from someone forced. Oh god, I'm so confused. <laughs> it's your turn. I'd like to go and get more prisoners, please. Fair. Good, good plan. Thank you. Uh, freak out. <laughs> it's not how that song goes. Curses. Um, gosh, what do I want? I can't do anything any of the other bits and pieces here because I'm stuck. There should be another card. Yep. Mm, two virtues. Um, all right, I will go to the mines, and I will just get myself two clay. Mm. Sad little turn. What a sad little life. Mm -hmm. So that's the end game triggered. Constantine goes to the guild hall. We all get a final yeah. turn. No. Curses. Oh, how annoying. Were you about to do a thing? You can still build at the guild hall, by the way. No, that's not what I want. I needed two more turns to get rid of this deck. Oh, he does get one of these, though. I've only got one more turn now. You do. Who are you? I also have one more turn, and that's... And uh, he gets this one. Two they were all worth two points, yeah. It wasn't, uh, wasn't that punishing. Oh, I've got nothing. Oh, how good. in. Can you... What can you do? I've only got one money. Can't do anything. Can't do anything. I've got, no, I've got no resources. You're... You've either... You've got loads of... Oh, no, that's... Yeah, that's no, that's... Stop that, part. yeah. Um... You're almost, I think your best move probably is to Just bump up my Abbott. Yeah, get him get him more power uh, with a thing because then that'll get you two points. Oh, I just needed a couple more turns. Two turns. Yeah. Two turns and I would have gotten rid of that deck. <coughs> Wait, did you did you give yourself the money when you went to the King's storehouse? Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. Carry on. Carry on with your day. And I spent it on mm -hmm. that. Oh, I'm one short of paying my debt. Yep. How annoying. Yep. Well. Yeah, I've got nothing. This, this does me. I don't give me anything. I'm going to have to just... Probably your best move, though, isn't it? And don't. Should have just gone and done it. <sighs> then I didn't have the people. Yeah. 
doesn't really matter which one, does it? Take away the one that's got the most points. Take away the most points, yay. Yep. Ah, cousin. Um, okay, I will... I'm just going to go to the King's Storehouse. This is a very sad turn for me. I'm just going to turn in two of my many clays. What a sad before I said it. sad before And just get myself one point. Aww. Oh, okay. Womp womp. And then Constantine gets the final turn, where two gets paid. We're not going to bother doing this, because no. it's uh, two into the tax, and then scrap off one of these guys, but there's no point. It's the that. last turn. He's it greedy, make... and he needs to do the last turn. Oh, righty. Oh, so, dear me. One of the nice things that happened with the um, expansion, this particular expansion, <coughs> is the <a> score pack, <coughs> which the original game did not. But it does have, there is an app that Garfield Games has to do all the scoring. Uh, but because the app is on my phone, and my phone is being used for the camera, being used for this camera, um, I can't do that, so I'm just going to do it manually. So, we are going to score points. You'll add it in later. Yeah, I'll add it up later. So, we have got points for our buildings, first Yay. of all. So, I get 12 points for my buildings. So, this is just the points on the buildings, plus any bonuses that you might get from them. This is the Age of Artisans expansion. Woo! Which, I have to say, I really like. Yeah, it's good. Um, Alright, so we do the various other points that are at the base of each of the cards. So, my Academy gets me one point for each of these red upgrades. So that's another three points. Uh, no, that puts me on 15. This is going to be woeful in comparison to yours. Um, and then, I am tied for the most at the chapel, so I gain two virtue, which is nice. Because uh, these are worth three, six, that's worth six, and then it's worth three points, one point per each one of these up tool upgrades. How about you? Mm. What did you get? A button. I got 16 and 11. 27. And then add another 37. 30, 34. 34. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I did not get the bonus for university because I still have a debt. You do, yes, that's unfortunate. Curses. Burr. Um, all right, I, th we then get points for the cathedral. <laughs> two. You get two, I get 12, and Constantilli also gets 12. Mm. Uh, virtue track, I get five points for this. Zero. No one gets anything else, which no. is nice if you're me. Uh, debt, I yeah. lose four points four. for my debt. So does Constantilli, but you lose two. Okay. Which is not too bad. bad. Gold and marble. I have over. one gold. I have two. I have one gold and two marble, so three points for that. One point for you. Constantine gets 14. To be fair, That's though, he hasn't, he hasn't got any building buildings. points yet. Yeah. Uh, ten money. Nope. Neither of us have any enough money, so that's uh, zero. Write the zero in. You write zero in for that one as well. Yes. Can't have gaps. Thank yes, you. Yeah. Then we have, you lose a point for every person in the guild hall. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, that's every two. Every two people, you lose a point. So I lose. Oh, no. I lose one point. Oh, no. Uh, that's not, that's okay. I forgot about that, but it's okay, because I, from doing this, I got two points, so yeah. I'm okay with it. Um, all right, let me get points for our adornment. So I get six points for that. I get one. You get one point. Constantine okay. gets 16. Then we get points for the bottom half. So we both have, uh, for the tools, the red tool part, so we both have three. So we both get four points. Four points. Constantine gets zero. So, oh boy, maths. <laughs> Constantine's total is uh, 26... Eight, so he has 38 points. Well, given that you got 37 from your buildings, I think <laughs> you're okay. <laughs> so, 37, 38, 39, <laughs> 43. Close. Oh, you, yeah, because I don't actually know you got any other points. <laughs> you got all of your points were from your buildings. You got 39, yeah, 37. 37, 38, 39, 33. I got 20, uh, so that is 20, 32, 32, that all cancels out. I got 
42. Oh. Oh. <laughs> One point. One point. 42. Oh, hang on. There's, no. There's one more thing for Constantine. Is that? Yes. Because we have to score how many points he gets for each worker in the cathedral. That's what this point, that's what that score in is for him. cathedral? Ah, oh, sorry, in the guild hall. It's one, two, three, four, five. He gets five points for that. <gasps> so he draws with me. He ties with you. How annoying. Well, it is for me. I lost by one point. <laughs> uh, what is, uh, what's the tiebreaker? Oh, no, it's going to be like, it's going to be, it's going to be marble and gold, isn't it's it? It's going to be me. It's either, it's either coins or... The player with the highest virtue is the winner, which is me. I am the winner. No. Uh, no. <laughs> me. 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 Uh, no, be no, Beyond Dead. Uh, it's a tie between the AI and Laura, uh, but Laura beat the AI because she has a higher position on the virtue track. <laughs> yeah! So, in reality, I lost to the AI <laughs> and Laura, who is also AI. Um, I do not compute. <laughs> Congratulations, Laura. You are our winner of our Yay! I thought you were going to present me with that can of Pepsi as a trophy. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm not giving you my beverage. <laughs> Yay, I'd like to thank my family for getting me here today. I'd like to thank Jimmy for the moral support from under the bench. She does lots of moral support. So yeah, I'd like to thank you for putting up with me. That's, That's it. All. <laughs> That's it. So yeah, that is Architects of the West Kingdom. I... Quite, I really like that Age of Arthas expansion. Yeah, it adds to it, doesn't it? Uh, it adds, it adds enough difference. I think. Mm. To think. I do like the, I do like this boss. As annoying as he mm. is, I like him. Mm. The half Pepsi trophy may now be a new thing. It's entirely possible. It's not even half a Pepsi, but sure, why not? At least it's open. So shake. Like the ashes, they just borrow it. <laughs> it yeah. Never actually leaves. Yeah, and it's owned by an Australian. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, that is our game for today. I, I, that was a lot of fun. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, that was good. My pleasure. Yay. <laughs> so, let's see who is playing at the moment. Loser, pal, loser. They're always on on a Monday. They are playing. We like to crash them. We do like yeah, to race yeah, into yeah, them. So, yeah. bear with. I'm going to do it. What are they playing? Isle of Cats? Because every time I see them, they're playing Isle of Cats, which they are is a burner. They are playing... Um, Isle of Cats. No, they're playing King Domino. Oh, we love King Domino. We, we like um, a nice, simple kind of... It's a nice chill out of the game. Yeah. Uh, Beyond there says, our Pepsi Max changed packaging a year or so ago, and now they have reformulated it. Oh, so oh. Is, it, is it new Pepsi? Oh, it's like... Oh. What's that? Hi, Danny. Hi, Hi Danny. Welcome. I mean, we're going now anyway, so... Yeah, we're about to raise the blue, <laughs> blue, but that's okay. Thank you for popping in and saying hello. Um, how was Gen how was Gen Con, Jan Danny? That Gen looked like Con. it was a lot of fun. And thank you, uh, Bob's your uncle, for joining us. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. Um, more citric acid, less ginseng. Yeah, it was great. Uh, we we look forward to hearing all about it uh, on the twenty first when we will be speaking to you next time, hopefully, Danny. Um, and then yeah, we'll go from there. And actually, if you want to check out. Uh, Sovereignty's YouTube channel might see uh, some familiar faces at some point in an all distant future. It's these faces. It's, it's, it's these faces. So check out the Sovereignty YouTube channel, who are our partner platformers. See you on twenty first, indeed, Danny. Um, so yeah, until next time, folks. We are going to send you over to Palooza. And for next time, bye bye. Bye bye.